Hello everyone, you're watching College Review Series by Akash. Today we are going to review National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh. So if you want to take a 360 degree review on this NIT, that means if you want to know everything about this institute, about its campus, courses, fee structure, placements, cutoff and a lot more, then do watch this video till the end. National Institute of Technology, Arunachal Pradesh is a public, technical and research institute which was established in the year 2010. The NIT has been awarded a rank band of 101 to 150 by NIRF 2023 in the engineering category. Let's have a look at its wonderful campus. NIT AP is currently functioning from its permanent campus at Jyot near Itanagar, the capital of Arunachal Pradesh. The campus is spread over an area of 301 acres which is surrounded by picturesque landscapes, beautiful green forests and mountains. Along with all the basic facilities like 24-7 electricity, water and food, the NIT also provides hostels equipped with Wi-Fi and LAN facilities. There are five hostels for boys and three hostels for girls, a cafeteria, transport facilities for the students to travel from their hostels to the institute. Further, there is a central library, a computer center, language laboratory, a fair price shop, a seminar hall and a well-equipped medical unit. The various undergraduate BTEC courses offered here are Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. And to get admission in one of these courses, the students need to qualify first of all Joint Entrance Exam JEE Main and pass Class 12 Board Examination with Science Stream. 75% is the required percentage for General Category and 65 is the required percentage for ST, SC or PWD Category. Further, the students get themselves register for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in their J main. The selected candidates will get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. Foreign students get selected through DASA and ICCR schemes. Talking about the fee structure now. See, the fee structure varies from category to category. Like for ST, SC or PWD category students or for general or OBC category students whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum, they get full remission of tuition fee, which is zero tuition fee. Whereas they still are going to pay institution and hostel charges. So it amounts to be 8,500 per semester. Whereas for students whose parental income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh, they get two-third of the remission of tuition fee. So for them, the tuition fee is 29,333 per semester. And if you are a general or OBC candidate with parental income greater than 5 lakh, then it is 71,000 per semester, which comprises of tuition fee, institution and hostel fees. So you can consider that the entire BTEC program from NIT Arunachal Pradesh is going to be of 5,68,000 for all the general category students. Now it's time for placement statistics at NIT Arunachal Pradesh. As NIT AP, placement statistics for the year 2023 is yet to be released on the official website. So in the meanwhile, let's have an idea of the placement statistics from the year 2021-22. A total number of 116 jobs offer were made to the students in this year. 70% students were placed from the chemical engineering branch. So this can be considered as the top branch of NIT Arunachal Pradesh. 66.7% students were placed from CSE and ECE branch, followed by 46.16% from mechanical engineering, 41.67% from civil engineering, 37.5% students were placed from electrical engineering, making the overall NIT Arunachal Pradesh placement percentage as 48.3%, which is considerably less. Now, these 116 offers came from some of the known brands and companies. Let's have a look at the cutoff 2023 at NIT AP. At all the NITs, the seats are reserved 50% for the home state candidates and remaining 50% for other state candidates. Let's have a look at the NIT Manipur cutoff 2023. You can see the branch wise rank cutoff after the sixth round of JOSA counseling. For the civil engineering branch, the rank for home state candidates stopped at 1,82,340. On the other hand, for other state candidates, the same closed at 57,946. For computer science and engineering, the rank shows that the home state candidates can make it to this branch with 1,36,432. And for other state candidates, the rank closes at 29,087. 
For electrical engineering, the home state rank closed at 1,61,165 and for other states, the same stopped at 44,381. For electronics and communication engineering, the opening and closing rank for home state candidates was 1,41,628 and for other states candidates, the opening rank was 29,803 and the closing rank was 38,784. For mechanical engineering, the rank cutoff for this branch started and stopped at 1,76,501 and for other states, the same started at 45,573 and closed at 49,818. For more information related to NIT Arunachal Pradesh cutoff 2023 for different categories like for ST, SC, PW or for girls students, do visit the link given in the description. Now it's time for students review. Let's find out what do the students of NIT Arunachal Pradesh have to say about the campus. The placements are low as compared to other NITs. NIT Arunachal Pradesh is a ragging free campus. The ECE branch has some really good professors. Connectivity of campus from the nearest city Itanagar is very poor. Number of students is quite less, so each student is known personally by their teachers. And last, if you are interested and are good at a particular sport, then you will certainly get good chance to go for national level. So based on all the factors that we have discussed today in this video and the students review, form your own opinion about this NIT, NIT Arunachal Pradesh, as this was all from me. Now it's your turn to let me know which other college do you want me to review next. And yes, do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.